You have been given Good evening, gift, and welcome back to Let's Play Blackwell Deception. To be accepted. When we left Jack off last Hansen. time, yes. Rosa is totally under this all, horrible Gavin's control, so we gotta find Step a way to save her. Darkness. Step out from the fringe of society. The spirits you save, who knows about them? Does anybody know you? Does anybody thank the you? The spirits no. all thank us. You toil us. on the behalf of Ingrid. Every night, no. you prowl the city looking for the but dead. But what can the dead offer? Rosa, this guy you sucks. Given this gift, but did you Don't listen to him. Okay, nowhere to, to go, accepted. nothing to interact with, so it's gotta be something it. with... Ah! You're making the right choice. Whatever that stuff is, it packs a punt. No way I'm getting past it. After yeah, I know, all, so... You wanna live. Step She's out not of a the ghost, darkness. so I'll just keep this around my... Step out from the fringe of society. We can't hit this. The spirits you save. Who knows about He's them? not dead. Does anybody know you? Does anybody thank you? No. Your you attention. Yeah, on the behalf stuff. of Ingrid. Every night, you prowl the city looking for ah! the dead. No, we can't get to him. But what can the dead offer? Just talk to her? Red, can you hear me? Hmm? Joey? Yeah. Your spirit guide. He has returned? Yeah, I've returned. Stop listening to this guy. No, I can't talk to you. Rosa? I have my own life now. Not for long, you won't. He's gonna kill you. I don't know you. how you return, spirit guide, but she's right. You can't convince her otherwise. Watch me. Uh, yeah, remember Jeremy. Gavin murdered Jeremy Red. You can't have forgotten that. Jeremy? I suggest yeah. you forget about Jeremy. He had years to reach out to you and never did. So? He never thought of you before. Why should you think of him now? That's right. Why should I care about Jeremy? Rosa, this isn't you talking. We've got to break this guy's evil spell. He did have that picture. He held on to that picture the whole time. Of course Jeremy thought about you. He had your picture. Do you keep a picture of someone you don't think about? Then why didn't he say anything before? Maybe he was too shy. Why didn't you? I don't know. Maybe I was too busy talking to the dead to bother with the living. It's a mistake I won't make again. That's it. You made the right choice. You have been given this gift. But did you ask not all it. gifts have to be accepted? Rejected. That's it. Yes. Okay, keep talking. You're Look, Red, you've got- hmm? I told you to- Shut up, I'm talking. Oops, Gavin said something different. Okay, so. Remember Jeremy didn't get us there. Jamie, Penelope, Tiffany. I mean, he did ruin all these people. Let's just- he's straight up a killer. Think, Red, we've been cleaning up this guy's messes for two nights. Do you want to be one of them? They wanted to live. So do I. And they didn't this live. This guy's killing you. You're wrong. I've never felt so alive. Look, you know you can't turn your back on this life. You want to end up like your aunt and grandmother? You don't know for sure that'll happen. Um, of pretty sure I do. I do. I saw what happened when they tried to stop. They both ended up in the loony bin. Does one have anything to do with the other? You're just guessing. You're in the dark as much as I am. Is it a guess you really want to take a chance on, though, Rosa? All right, Jamie. Did think about Jamie. Gavin turned her into something she wasn't. And she wasn't not really happy. Her. Jamie didn't know who she was. I do. I know you too, Red. And this isn't it. You don't know me at all, Joey. You never tried. That's not true. That's not he true. He's dead, Rosangela. In all the ways that count. He has nothing for you now. Why don't you shut the hell up? <laughs> That's better. Now just listen to me. After all, you want to live. Step out of the darkness. Step out from the. F Look, Red, you've got to listen to me. Hmm, Joey? I kind of want to hear the things that Gavin has him. to say. Shut up, I'm talking. But I'm afraid if I let him keep talking, then, like, his hold over her will strengthen. So, um, Tiffany. Remember Tiffany, Red? Gavin played with her heart until it broke. Tiffany. She was weak and stupid. You don't really know that. Okay, we'll do the mean thing. You think you're any better? Yes. Not from where I'm standing, you're not. You always think the worst of me. I do, huh? Then prove it. Walk away. I can't. Of course you can. One foot in front of the other. Rosangela, listen to me. Don't listen Don't progress to that guy. on me now. We've made such progress. Okay, so this is what we have to do. We have to we have to tell her the mean things. Okay. Jeremy. Ki Jeremy? I suggest you f he never thought of you. That's right. Whether you care about him or not, he didn't deserve what happened to him. No, that's Jeremy not the right isn't choice. important. You don't believe that. You have no idea what I believe. Yes, I knew you'd make the right decision. Mm -hmm. The spirits you save, who knows about them? 
Okay, that I was my fault because I didn't really read I my options. I just picked the up. one on the bottom. So Jeremy, kid. Jeremy, I suggest Jeremy. you never thought of you. Before. That's right. So, um, good riddance. Yeah, maybe it's good he's dead and gone. After all, there was no other reason for him to call you. What? Think about it. He was a successful reporter. What would you be to him? Just some crazy girl who talks to herself. Maybe I could have told him. Maybe he would have understood. Maybe you're right. Too bad we'll never know, since Gavin killed him and everything. This Come is how to get through to her. All right. This. I can't. Of course you can. you can. One foot in front of the other. Rosangela, listen to me. Don't regress on me now. We've made such progress. Okay. So. Kid, think about Jamie. Jamie. Gavin turned her into something she wasn't. I'm not like her. Jamie didn't know who she was. I do. You know who you are? Bull. You're the most confused broad I know. You're wrong. I know exactly who I am. You're a medium. It's the only thing you're good at. Now you want to chuck it all away. I am much more than that. No. Right now, you're whatever this guy's telling you to be. That's not true. At this and exact root. moment, it is, but Ugh, you have the capability to be so much more. Come on, Red, you know something's off about this. Rosangela, you are not thinking clearly. Because you. you know what you have to do. All right. Penelope? Think about Penelope, kid. Gavin tore her family apart. Family? What did family ever do for me? Well, your aunt raised you. And... They're not gone. Well... Nothing. They didn't give you a damn thing. That's right. Who needs family? You got through it on your own. Those lonely years would break most people, but not Rosa Blackwell. No, I'm still here. That's right. Bit shaken, perhaps, but not broken. You should be proud, kid. I am. So tell me, why are you letting a creep like Gavin tell you what to do? I'm not. You then sure are. prove it. Walk away. Joey? That's it. Come on. Almost there. No, your spirit guide is wrong. He always has been. You need to take control over your own life. Turn away from him. Remember Tiffany, Red? Gavin played with her heart until it broke. Tiffany, she was weak and stupid. All right. You think you're any better? Yes. Not from where I'm standing, you're not. You always think the worst of me. We said this huh? already, so maybe it was wrong, Walk but it seemed away. like it was making some progress. I am... Rosangela Blackwell, listen to my voice. You want to listen to me. You need to listen to me. In your heart, you know I am right about everything. Red? I think. You think what I tell you to think. That's better. Now where were we? Get out of my head! Good job, Rosa. Hey, hey. Is he... Kinda hope so. Oh, hey, very hey. clever. You got me when I was feeding. I might have been unprepared, but I won't be next time. What do you mean next time? Next time? I hate to break it to you, Pally, but you're dead. Dead? No. I have energy to spare. More than enough to bring me back. Get him with the tie. Gavin? Oh, oh hey. It's you. I didn't want it to be this way. Get out of my way, Lisa. I was scared. Maybe my grandfather was right. I said get out of my way. No, I can't. Not now. It's got to mean something. Good. Of Good for you. All right. All right, push him on. Both yet into the light. This place? This Wait. place. I was never supposed to come back here. Too bad. It was part of the deal. Please send me back. I don't think that's possible. No, not yet. It's too soon. You don't understand if they find me here. No. Who finds you? Wait! Give me another chance, please! Ah! What just happened what to just him? just happened? I'm not sure. I... I think I want to go home now. I'm very tired. You should probably get into the light until, unless some, that you know, way? before something You're horrible sure? happens to you. Yes. Do you think it was worth it? In the end? Any of it? Not really, no. I mean, okay, it was worth it that she stopped Gavin in the end, but all the people she sacrificed? I don't... 
I feel very strongly about Lisa Tenzin in a bad way. And though she helped with Gavin at the end, that isn't, it's not enough to me to redeem her and send her on feeling happy. She, she never really took responsibility for what she did. She kept trying to find ways to weasel out of any sort of responsibility for it. We are locked in the freaking closet and we point out to her, there's got to be another way out, right? She says, oh yeah, there is. And she takes it herself and leaves us in a closet knowing Gavin's going to try to kill us. Like, sorry, Lisa, you don't get any kind of comfort at the end. A lot of people are dead because of you. Yeah. Yes. I can't deny that anymore. I was so angry. That doesn't make it okay to kill so people. Angry. And now I'm just so tired. Go ahead, Lisa. You can rest as long as you like. Thank you. You okay? Sure. I think so. My brain feels scrubbed raw, but I'm okay. And the spooks? Lisa went through. Gavin was... taken. Taken? Look, Something I don't want to stay happened. here. Let's get out of here. Sure. You wanted to come here? It's a place to go. And I need some air. Suit yourself. Yeah, I mean, you need some air, but it's kind of a... The stuff I said. A cop place it. to go, given everything. never happened. No, it's all mixed up. The truth and the lies, it's all a big mess. I'm not sure who I am right now. It'll sort itself out. No, I... Oh, what's the damn point? Huh? Well, let's talk about weak. it. He got into my head. He found a loose thread in my mind and yanked it free. So? I should have been stronger. Rosa. Stronger? The guy had to tie you up and hold you at gunpoint to get through to you. That's more than you can say for anyone else he's met. Maybe. But what's the point? What do you mean, what's what the do you point? Mean? Tiffany, Jamie, the others, none of them were happy. They could have been. this on? Helping Jeremy. All these ghosts. It should be fulfilling. Why do I feel so empty? Is it Gavin? Or is it me? Gavin. <sighs> I wish I had answers. There was a time when I thought the same. That helping someone else would do me good. Turns out, I was wrong. Do you regret it? I don't know. Maybe. Who could say? You make your choices, whether there's a point or not. Then how's this for a choice? This organization that Gavin belongs to, they're out there, somewhere. Are we gonna hunt them down? Somewhere. I want to find them. Alright. Sure? Yes. And this is what's gonna bring meaning to your existence? I need to do something, anything. I can't just react anymore. It might not be the right choice, or even a good one, but it's something. Do you understand? Yeah, I get it. And I'm with you. It's kind of a noble All choice. All the way to the end, I'm with you. Thank you. God, I could kill for a coffee. Do you think that cafe down there is open? Yeah. For their sake, I hope so. Let's get out of here. After you, sweetheart. Go have a coffee with Sam. pretty comfortable saying whatever organization Gavin was talking about they're bad guys they're terrible people if he you know if we're if we're judging by him at all if there and there's something to do with him something like him yeah they suck they kill people so yeah I think that's definitely a worthwhile goal of hers even if she's not really sure how to do it how to make things happen aspiring to take them down yeah that's that's a great goal I think she could still find enjoyment in life even without necessarily doing something like that. It's kind of a shame that she's saying, I don't know, I feel kind of bad for her that she doesn't feel fulfilled helping the ghosts move on. Because you'd think that would be a really fulfilling thing to do. But, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know, thinking about it, like, would you really feel fulfilled helping Lisa Tunzin move on? I don't think I would. It was more like, well, you happen to be here and we gotta take care of ghosts, so okay, on you go. I, I wouldn't really care about helping Lisa because she's kind of a terrible person. But a lot of the other ones we've helped, I've been happy to help. Especially the first ones. Like helping Allie move on. Yeah, I think that was totally worthwhile. Helping Jeremy find peace and move on. That was our friend. So, I don't know. I'm feeling... Perhaps I'm being a little too idealistic here. But I'm thinking maybe a lot of the confusion Rose's feeling at the end was mostly a result of Gavin's influence. And not so much that she doesn't really feel any sort of satisfaction story. in what she's doing. An anonymous tip sent police to a midtown home where two dead bodies were found. Police Commissioner Alex Silva had this to say. I want to send a very public message to the ones who did this. This isn't something we tolerate. Not in this city, and not under my watch. 
So whoever you are, let's get one thing straight. We will find you. It's only a matter. Okay, it did what it did. I forget that it does this, and it always shuts itself down at the very end of the game. So that's a very intriguing ending, because that really feels, I mean, that could be something that the police chief would say. That makes sense. But that feels more like someone speaking directly to Rosa, someone who's part of the organization. This isn't tolerated. We're going to find you. I don't, mm. Not necessarily, there's not really anything to necessarily, nothing to really prove that, but it just had that kind of tone to it. It makes me wonder. So very excited for it. There's only one more in the series, right? Epiphany wraps it all up? Yeah, so I'm excited to see how that goes. I'm still, they, they dangled out this Danny thing so much, and then Linda was his, his granddaughter, and we've got that Joey killed, Joey, Joey took like a shot or whatever meant for Danny is what it sounded like. Like they were in a war together and Danny should have died, but Joey sacrificed himself to save Danny instead. But there's still so much of the story we don't know. Because some of the things they're saying makes it sound like there's a whole lot more story there. I don't... There's a lot more. There's a lot more information I want. A lot of unanswered questions. So hopefully Epiphany will give us those answers. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and wind the episode down here. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Head on back to my channel, there's plenty of other Let's Plays to take a look at, and uh, Blackwell Epiphany will be coming.